So this is Ms. Linda. We'll continue with uh, paper uh, two, uh, May 2021 exam. We reach question number three. And this question is related to topic five, electricity and mechanism. So the question says, I have a vertical wall carries a uniform positive charge on its surface. This produces a uniform horizontal electric field perpendicular to the wall. <clears throat> a small positively charged ball is suspended in uh, equilibrium. And this is very important, equilibrium. From the vertical wall by a thread of a negligible math, mass. The charge per unit area, the charge per unit area on the surface of the wall is sigma. So sigma is a charge per unit area, Q over area. Unit for sigma, it will be the unit for Q column, unit for area, meter square. So it is unit is column, per meter square. <clears throat> OK, column per meter square. This is the unit. Unit. It can be shown that the electric field strength E due to the charge on the wall is given by this equation sigma divided by two epsilon naught. Epsilon naught is the vacuum permittivity. And if you remember, if you recall a new uh, uh, column uh, law, the electric force is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. This is K. K, which equals to 9 times 10 to the power 9 times first charge, second charge divided by distance square. OK? Why we, he wants you to demonstrate the unit of this quantity are, are consistent. Yani the unit of the electric field is the same as the unit of sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. So from this equation, epsilon naught, it's 1 over 4 pi. I'm just going to swap divided by F Q1 Q2 R square. This is constant. It doesn't have a unit. F, Q1 and Q2, it's column square. F, it's a Newton. R is distance, so distance squared. So the unit, these are units. The units for epsilon naught, it's column square per Newton per meter square. Okay, if, if you forget this equation, you can find also the unit in your data booklet. Okay. What is the unit for the electricity? Always we drive the unit from the formula. So this is the right hand side of the equation. And this one is the left hand side of the equation. The unit should be consistent, which means they should be equal. So let's start with the left hand side of the equation. I have E, the equation for E, it's force over Q. Unit for force is a Newton. Unit for charge Q uh, is column, so it's a Newton per column. Now recall from a Newton second law, force F from Newton second law, F equals what? Mass times acceleration. So Newton is mass, it's kilogram, kilogram, Acceleration is meter per second square times column uh, to the power negative one. This is the unit for the elect uh, electric field. Now, right hand side, right hand side of the equation, I have sigma over two epsilon naught two. It's it's a constant number. Doesn't have unit. Unit for sigma from here. Sigma, it's column per meter square. OK, I like to put them in, inside the box because they're unit. Divided by epsilon naught 
from this equation. It's so not it's column square times newton to the power negative one times meter to the power negative two. Um, this one, we just change the color. Meter square and meter square, the castle. C to the power one minus two, it will become C one minus two. In Newton, get it up, change the sign, it will be just in Newton. So this will give you C one minus two is negative one times N and we reach this one. So they have the same unit. So my units are consistent. Now part B of the question, same question, the thread makes an angle 30 degree with the vertical wall. The ball has mass, mass M point O 25 kilogram determine the horizontal force act on the wall. Let's go back to the drawing. Uh, just need to erase this. Now remember, they're in equilibrium. Equilibrium, it means all the forces acting on the wall equals zero. That's what equilibrium means, the balance. We have, we have a balanced, balanced uh, forces. So what are the forces? I have the tension force here. So this one, I call it F tension. I have the mass because of the gravity. I have the weight of the wall down or Fg, the weight of the wall, this equal mass times gravity. Since we have electric field and the ball is positive, the ball will, there is, we have two positive charge, so I have repulsive electric force, the ball will stay away from this positive charge wall on the wall. So I have here F electric, this is column, uh, column, uh, column uh, law. So these are the forces acting on the wall. Now, tension force, it comes with an angle here, 30 degree. So I have to break down the tension force into component, X and Y component, or, y, or vertical and, and horizontal component. Now, if you, if you notice, here I have letter Z. This angle here is 30 degree. And the angle here also should be 30 degree. I have alternate interior angle. Alternate interior angle, if you have a little z, this angle and this angle, there should be, should be equal. So if this is 30, this also should be 30. So this angle here is also 30 degree. Okay. So here is 30 degree and this size is adjacent. So here I will have FT always adjacent. Remember, adjacent always cosine. So it will be the force, the value of the tension force FT cosine the angle. X direction it will be sine. So this direction it will be FT sine the angle. All the forces in y direction should equal all the forces. All the forces up should equal the forces down. Forces to the right should equal forces to the left. Why? Because I have equilibrium. Equilibrium. So I'm going to make a table here. Here I have x and y. Summation of forces in x direction will equal zero. Summation of forces in y direction also should equal zero. X direction, I have. What are the forces in x direction? I have F electric, the repulsive force, and I, it should equal to F tension, sine the angle 30. So I have F E should equal F T sine the angle. 30. 
And in y direction, I have up F T, the tension force, cosine the angle 30, and this should equal F G. F G, it's mass times gravity. F G, it's mass. Mass is uh, 0.025 times uh, acceleration due to gravity 10. So from this equation, I can find the tension force. Tension force will give you me 0.25 divided by cosine 30. And should this should equal 0.29 in Newton. I can come and substitute with this value here. So electric force will equal point. 29 sine 30 degree and this should be point 14 in newton point 14 newton so this is the horizontal force acting on the wall okay double i the charge on the wall it's point one point two uh, times 10 to the power negative uh, a, uh, negative six column determine uh, uh, sigma uh, charge per um, uh, charge density or um, charge per unit uh, area so sigma from this equation e sigma will equal e times uh, two epsilon naught, but I don't have the electric field. I can find the electric field from this equation force divide the electric force divided by Q and the electric force we just calculated was 0.14 and the charge here is 1.2 times 10 to the power negative 6 and this should equal 1.18 times 10 to the power 5 Newton, this is a Newton and column, so a Newton pair column. Now come substitute here. Sigma will be 1.18 times 10 to the power 5 times 2 times epsilon naught permittivity or vacuum permittivity. It's 8.85 times 10 to the power negative 12, and this should equal 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 6 column per meter square. The thread breaks explain the initial subsequence motion of the ball. All the ball, as we said, have net summation of the forces of F net should equal zero. All the forces acting on the ball because the ball is equilibrium should equal uh, uh, should equal uh, zero. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh.